Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope everyone is well, hope everyone is keeping safe. So today I'm just jumping on just to do a quick little video on playing the pullback. Right? Now pullbacks are conceived as slightly higher risk, which is fine, which is fine, um, compared to pro trend moves. But we don't need to be hesitant of playing the pullback because all we're doing is playing our expectation order flow. Right? Once price breaks market structure, we expect price to pull back. And we just need to look for clues to suggest that the impulse is over and the pullback is potentially about to start. Yeah. So there's absolutely nothing wrong in playing both sides of the market, right? Because you're just playing your expectation order flow. Now, before I get into it, if you guys like the content on this page, give it a like, give it a share. And if you've not already done so, subscribe to this channel. So guys, we know the market moves in impulse corrections, right? In impulse corrections. So let's say, for example, here, We've broken structure, right? So this low was taken out by this high. Now this is a high now because it's broken structure, right? So at this point in time, our expectation of order flow is for price to pull back. Oh, now that's all well and good. What we need to ask ourselves now is, What do we need to see in order for price to suggest the impulse is over and where is price likely pulling back to? Right, these are things that we need to ask ourselves. Right, so after this breaking structure, like I said, expectation order flow is for price to pull back. Now, what we ideally want to see is a change in character right that's what we ideally want to see so when we see a change in character right so let's um look at change character for a little bit the change in character right in its basic form is going to suggest that the pull that the impulse is over and the pullback is potentially likely to stop right so the impulse is potentially over and the pullback is potentially likely to stop. Or the pullback is potentially over and the impulse is likely to stop. So when we see a change in character, right, that's an internal shift in market structure, right? It's an internal uh, shift in market structure, right? So at that point, we can be confident that potentially this pullback is going to start to play out now, right? Secondly, where is price likely to uh, going to pull back into? Well, the obvious answer, right, will be into so we're in a selling market right we want price to pull back into premium so we can sell again yeah so these are things that you need to ask yourself right and this really helps in taking um in having regions for targets right so once we see a change of character you can then look to right you can wait for price to come back into that chalk created demand in this instance right and look to trade now you can have a limit here that's completely fine or if you want a more accurate entry you can uh, scale down time frames and look to get in right and target the eq or potentially uh, um take off partials here the eq and leave some partials coming into some of these extremes in here right within premium completely completely makes sense so you can play this side of the market then once we get into here right once we get into here what we expected right we're following our expectation order flow, we're expecting this to happen, right? So we're in our buys here into our sell zones, right? So once we get here, what do we want to see? Well, ideally, what we want to see is a change of character. When we see that change of character, what's that suggesting? Well, potentially, it's saying that the market has finished with this pullback, and we could potentially now see that next impulse to target these weak lows, right? So just understanding this in its, in its you know, basic form, you can look to get in to some of these um, pullback plays and then continuation plays. Yeah, just understanding, using a bit of logic and understanding what is price likely to do, right? And just following your expectational order flow. That's it. So let's have a look at this example here. So price was initially making high highs and high lows, right? So we had broken structure here and we made this high. It's completely fine. And eventually, this low had failed. This low had failed. Right? 
So once this low fails, our expectation order flow is for prices to pull back. And then after it pulls back, um, continue on its next impulse. Now, we can either wait for the change character on the same time frame, or we can scale down. Or we can scale down, right? So in this instance, let's scale down here, right? Now, of course, one thing I should say is you can have your ProTrend POIs here, here, where, wherever it is, yeah? We're not focusing too much on that in this video, yeah? So let's scale down. And if I just play price out, we can see we've got we've seen that change of character now. Now change of character suggests that potentially the impulse is over, and that we've uh, we're likely going to see that pullback, right? Now another thing I should say is the change of character does not need to be right. It can be, but it doesn't need to be a body closure. It doesn't need to be a body closure. So at this point we've seen that change of character. Yeah. Now by all means. By all means, you can scale down, right? So once price comes into this level, you can scale down even more and then wait for like a lower time frame entry model, right? Even even a lower time frame entry model. Yeah, it's completely fine. Now in this instance, I'm not just I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take an entry from here, just playing off let's say the 50%, right? And Right, I'm not going to focus too much on the risk reward or anything like that. We'll just target the 50%. Now, if I jump to the 30 minute, let's understand this is the swing range that we're playing within. This is the swing range that we're playing within. Right, so your first targets, right, you could take partials here. You could um, you could have hard take profits. You could whatever it is you're doing, how however you decide to manage your trade. Right, the point is once you see that change of character potentially suggesting that price is likely ready to pull back now yeah because after an impulse what do we expect we expect a pullback so if i just play price out we come in we get tapped in and we then come back into we pull back into our premium levels so once price is within our premium levels right so whether here or here the expectation of order flow now shifts right and we expect in this to happen and target these weak lows we're expecting price to now continue on that pro trend move, right? And it's best, right? It's safe to wait for that change of character, right? So like I said here, you could potentially wait. So even here, we had that change of character. You could wait for it on the same time frame, which is fine, right? Let's say you don't have um, time to scale down to the uh, one minute or five minute or whatever it is, yeah? You can wait on the same time frame. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, yeah? You just be waiting a bit more longer, that's all. Right, so in this instance, in this instance, if I just play price out, if we see any sort of internal shift, so at this point, what do we see? So price comes into some sort of POI in here, right? Then we see bearish change of character. Now, let's build the story here. We're in a bearish market. We see a bearish change of character from a premium, right? So we've already bought, right? So we bought into our sell zones, right? And let's say we've taken profits, whatever it is, yeah? So we bought into our sell zones. Now at that point, we've now seen price um, shift internally. We've seen a shift internally. And at that point, now I'm just going to take this whole range. We can now look to target, right? We can look to play that pro trend moves, right? So we're just looking to play both sides of the market here, right? Without complicating it, without complicating it, right? So at this point, we've got short position ready here. Yeah, it stops above and we target the weak low, right? This is target the weak low, right? Like I said, I'm not concerned here about risk reward or anything like that. Just focusing on the actual um, aspect of trading, playing both sides of the market here, right? So again, guys, when price comes in, comes into here, you can scale down to get a more accurate entry, which is completely fine, yeah? So if I just play price out, we come in, we tap into the 50% there, and off you go. We get the new we get a new breaking market structure, we get a new trading range, right? Now, use this concept, right? Use this concept with other concepts that you've already known, that you that you already know, right? Other concepts I've spoken about, such as supply and demand, right? So little things like using supply and demand here. So we didn't just get a change of character from the middle of nowhere. We got a change of character from a demand zone, right? So you need to build your story here. Build your story, yeah? 
And once you build a story, understanding where you got your change of character from, how did you get it, etc., etc. Where can you target? Right? What's your expectation? Order flow. Right? What's overall structure saying? Once you put learn to put all these together, that's when you start to build a really strong and powerful trading plan. Yeah. So this is just a quick little video, simple little concepts that you can use to play both sides of the market. Right? Buy into your sell zones and sell from there. Right? Um, um, following your pro trend pro trend move. Yeah. Or sell into your buy zone. Right. Um, and then buy from there, fall in your pro trend move. Yeah. So that's it for me today. Yeah. And if you guys have any further questions regarding this or any other topics, just let me know. Yeah. My Telegram, Instagram, um, all of that is in the descriptions. And yeah, guys, I shall see you all on the next video.